In this video, I'll go over the reason why I'm against using tabs in your terminal emulator. And it's pretty simple, consistency. Notice that I'm in Kitty right now. I can create a new tab. If I press Command T, it shows here at the bottom. The only thing I know about tabs in Kitty is how to close it with Command W in Mac OS. If I press that, it closes it. I don't know how to switch to other tabs. Try to search for it in the documentation, but I was not able to switch to another one in Mac OS. And I don't use them anyway, so I don't really care. Notice what happens if I switch to Alacrity and open it right now. If I try to open a new tab here, if I press Command T, I don't know what happened, but overall, Alacrity does not support tabs. So as far as I know, you cannot create tabs. Let me switch to another terminal. I'm going to switch to iTerm right now. Here, I can create tabs with Command T and I can close them with Command W, I think. Yeah, with Command W. If I switch to the regular macOS terminal, I can also create tabs with Command T and I can close them with Command W. So notice that tabs behave differently on each terminal emulator. Alacrity does not have support for tabs. So there's a lot of inconsistencies that I want to try to avoid. I don't know what terminal emulator I'm going to be using next year. Probably a different one. Who knows? I don't know if it's going to have tabs or not. And I honestly don't want to worry about that. Being against tabs doesn't mean that I'm against the tab functionality. Instead of using tabs, I rely on Tmux. Let me show you a list of sessions right now. Normally, you press Ctrl B S to get that. They're basically just workspaces. I have a directory open on each one of the different sessions that I have, and I can jump to each one of my sessions using a key map. To jump to this, I press hyperspace U, hyperspace H, hyperspace J, or I can move here with the arrows. Select the session that I want, hit enter, and it takes me there. I can alternate between the last two sessions. In my case, I press hyper Q space and notice that I'm alternating between the last two sessions. So as you can tell, this basically gives you a tab-like functionality. And the good thing about using Tmux is that it doesn't matter which terminal emulator you use, you will always have the same configuration and it will be consistent. The same thing happens here in Alacrity. Let me show you my list of sessions. Let me go to this session. I can alternate between the last two sessions the same way. The only real problem would be switching to a terminal emulator that does not support Tmux. But honestly, that's my first requirement. If Tmux is not supported, I'm not even gonna try it. You can also create what's called as Windows in Tmux. Notice that I have a window here. I'm gonna press Control B C. That creates a new window. I can go to another directory on this window. Let me go to my .files latest directory. I'm gonna go to another one right now. The new window is shown here. I'm gonna go to a different directory and I can switch between the windows as well. And I'll go to the first one, the second one, the third one, the second, first. I have specific key maps configured for this. Let me jump to my .files latest session real quick. In my specific case, I press hyper TJ. That takes me there. I'm going to look for my tmux.conf file. Here you can see the tmux key maps that I configured to switch between the first four windows, U, I, O, P. Here you can see how to create a new window, Control B, C. If you want to rename the window, if you don't like the name that it gets, you can do that with Control B, comma. Let me show that to you real quick. Just going to jump to the alternate session. I'm going to press Control B, comma. Notice that it gives me the option to rename the window. Just going to give this a name. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to switch to the other window. I'm going to rename it as well. Dot .files. I'm going to move to the other window. I'm going to rename it. Downloads. So now it looks a little bit better. I don't use these windows. I don't like managing stuff like this but I do use sessions a lot. These are the sessions that I have open right now and I switch to each one of the sessions that I use most of the times with a key map so I don't have to think about renaming stuff, organizing stuff. I have a video in which I go over Tmux. The quality is not the best but the content is still relevant. I'm going to leave that video in the video description and I also use the Primogen's Tmux Sessionizer to switch between Tmux sessions. Before fully moving over to Tmux, I used tabs and it's not as easy to navigate across your different projects, clicking around or moving one tab at a time. It's way faster if you press a single key map and you get to the session that you want to work on. I'd like to know down below if you use tabs, if you don't use tabs and why. So let me know down in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.